Hello guys and welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today while recording, I got my dog on my lap. So if you ever hear him barking in a video, this is them, this is who to blame. But hopefully he doesn't get impatient and will stay the whole time. But uh, today, we're going to be starting off on the warship and then we will switch to our main base. Because our main base, we found out we got explosive drones today, which is a limited time gunboat ability. Uh, my opinion on it, not that great but uh we'll we'll try and uh work it in but on the warship kind of want to get a chest because i'm i'm at four max uh i haven't had too much time to be attacking recently and uh we got to get a push because we're only at legendary two and christian's all the way at legendary five so i don't think i'll catch him this season but uh next season we'll start off around the same and uh it's gonna be good it's gonna be good because he was way ahead of me last season and now it's way more close so Keep improving. I'll beat him one of these seasons. I thought this would be my season. Appears not because it's over in a day or two. And uh, I'm kind of trying to figure out how to attack this because I think I can drop down on the far right hand side. But uh, let's start clearing. So we're going to want to throw a barrage around right here. Um, looks like there's four shock mines in that area. That would be awesome if we could get all them. But it only got two, so we'll throw a box of critters. That should take out the rest of the shock mines in that area. There we go. Got the other two and a couple of regular mines. Um, I think I'm going to invest in artillery, take out those boom mines. That could get a little bit destructive. But we're going to throw down on the right-hand side here. And then I will kind of do a diversion flare so they do step away from those flamethrowers. And we'll make sure they get far away and then we will flare to that doom cannon and by that point all the buildings are in range essentially so diversion but there we go looks like we made it pretty safely there and now we're gonna throw some some uh, smoke and stuff oh no that's not good that hot pot got a hold of a few of my warriors doesn't look like we lost any but that could have been bad could have gone really bad hopefully I have enough for three there we go we got three so we shock the hot pots, shock two of the shock launchers. I didn't see if there's three or not, but there was. So we'll get two engine rooms this attack. The third one might be a little bit iffy. I don't think it'll happen, um, but we are getting it down. We got two down to half health. So if I got to focus them onto one, that would have been cool, but I just completely skipped out. Uh, but looks like this guy took out one of my engine rooms. I bet he has a, oh, there goes only one, I guess. That's good. That's good. Gotta put my dog. There we go. First win, two stars, and we got two engine rooms, so looking pretty good. Um, but let's just keep going into attack, see what we can get cooking here before we do switch to the main base, as I said earlier. So, got a couple shock mines. I can easily avoid one of them. Now, this one, I'll throw a box of critters because I don't really want to waste two artillery. And by waste, I do not mean waste. I just mean spend. So now we're going to throw down private bullet. And then we'll wait a few seconds and we'll throw down the rest of our troops. And I'm kind of seeing what I will need to shock. And I think we can get three engine rooms this attack. That is a very bold statement, but I think it can happen. Ooh, ooh, you look at my hand. This dog's trying, I can't tell if he's cheering me on or he's trying to get me to lose because um, my dog was licking my hand and that was a little bit distracting. But there we go. We did not run over that shock mine as I planned, but it did get a little bit closer than I expected. So we'll get our smokes down. There is going to be a little bit of a gap that I will smoke off because I cannot risk that hot pot hitting my troops. Did we lose a bunch of warriors? Okay, there goes my dream of getting three engine rooms so we'll throw our shocks out very quickly and a lot of our warriors are still smoked because of that late smoke i needed to throw um i threw that just in case something really bad happened and now i don't think i'll be able to get the third like i previously thought but we did get two for for sure here we got we got two solid hits off of it and hopefully that is able to win it but unfortunately the last of our troops are getting taken out one more warrior was taken out and there goes private bullet so let's see what lee can do against us hopefully i can get another victory here looks like he has only a few troops left and he already does he already have an engine room no yeah he beat me bummer that was close good job to you man good job to you 
you had a few troops that were able to survive to the last one and it looks like uh i kind of want to move that doom cannon back more on. uh i don't know if that would really help but you got me you got me you got the higher percentage so that's okay that's okay very close attack there so props to you one win one loss we're up to four and then i'm well i i don't know um i think tomorrow i'm gonna be able to get the grapplers but by then the season's essentially over because what it ends sunday night or does it end eh, yeah it does end sunday night so who knows maybe i can get a huge push going the last last couple days here um okay so just taking out some mines some shack mines uh it's such an awkward gap in the base. I'm just gonna throw a box of critters, take out a mine and a shock mine. And now our warriors are running up the beach as planned. They're gonna run over some mines, some boom mines. But hopefully it does not do too much damage to us. I assume the warriors will survive there. But there we go, there we go. All right, now we just gotta stay alive, boys. All right, here we go get that smoke get the final smoke we're gonna leave a little bit of a gap for the hot pot maybe oh no was that a mistake i'm not sure it could have been probably should have been all right get our shocks out we will have everything shocked that will be of tremendous damage to us and now we have a bunch of energy down to 15 ah uh, we gotta taunt it down keep it down keep it down keep it down did i not pop taunt Oh, I didn't pop taunt. They couldn't get it down. One hot pot remains. Oh, man. Ah, that, that engine room is so close. That was such a messy attack. I tried to keep that one taunted down because it that, that probably would have helped. But there we go. Taking it out. Just, just finish off Bullet. He's gone through enough stress this video already. He's trying to carry this whole warrior team on his own. And it looks like we're going to get some grenadiers. That's why I need the grapplers. Grenadiers, riflemen, and private bullet. I think you're going to beat me, my friend. I took out the two extra doom cannons and replaced them with microwavers for smoky strats. And, ooh, um, and it's been hard to take out this, this combination. Took out both of my doom cannons already. It's a sad day. Does he have energy drink? One more hit on him. Boom. Oh, he got energy drink. Stayed alive. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Yep, we're not going to be able to finish off Private Bullet. And that means those Grenadiers will slowly take out my engine rooms. And who knows? Maybe maybe some miracle will happen. And no, I don't think it'll happen. Ooh, we got a hot pot on him. Oh, he missed the hot pot, but he got the CMO. I guess that's all that really matters. That mortar trying to do everything by himself. Looks like Private Bullet will uh, might head out here in a second. And we finally got Private Bullet. And that means we have a soul rocket launcher with almost no health to save the day. Oh, and the hot pot. Mistakes by him. There goes a bunch of his grenadiers but he did take out that rocket launcher so there'll be no more damage there goes the almost the final medic but it looks like his few grenadiers remaining will just completely beast out this base and i'll lose again but it's just really boring watching grenadiers because they take so long to take it out yep uh, a rocket launcher would have been nice. Ooh, he's activating the hot pot there. Ooh, that was bold, my friend. Take out the second engine room here in a couple throws. There it goes. Third one should. I don't even know. Third one will fall shortly. This is just... This, is, this, this just hurts my heart watching someone dismantle my base like this. And... With such a slow strategy, there goes the last few grenadiers. I guess that medic still is alive. Not anymore. Now it's up to the shock launcher to finish him off. They will just slowly. I think time might run out before that shock launcher does anything. This is hard to watch, friends. Ah, you might get another engine room yet. 
That one up there is looking very low. But the shock launcher might be like, I got you, buddy. We are not gonna give up yet. We're gonna die trying. And there's an artillery. Did not finish it off. There goes the rest of his grenadiers. And we did. He did leave up four engine rooms. But I left up five. And that's the way she goes sometimes. So let's just go in again. Try and get our chest here. I'm pretty good at getting two engine rooms every time. And I shouldn't say that. Because that'll jinx it. But let's, uh, let's show it again. Alright, we're going to throw a barrage here. In hopes that... It is a miracle barrage that takes out three shock mines. It did. There we go. There we go. That's like rare these days. Barrage that uh, that does exactly what you want. I guess if I did exactly what I want, then uh, all the engine rooms would get taken out. But, you know, can't have it. Can't have it like that. A little broken. But anyway, here we go. All right. The run-up's so boring. All right, now we're going to have to start to smoke starting to get intense fellas there we go get our smokes down 63 energy we'll throw two more and then we'll throw a flare as we want to throw the smokes before the flare all right oh that shock mine that hurt that hurted all right so shock 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 and we left up two shock launchers i think but that could be good still and when i say it could be good probably not but ah taunt it down taunt it down keep taunting it private bullets just a distraction as those few warriors oh we did take out the 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 the, the thing there we go finish it off fellas we got that second one in the books there we go we got it that lone artillery took it out and now we just throw an extra artillery damage a building and b b s He's, you're gonna beat me whenever I see a grenadier strategy like this I know I'm gonna lose I switched it around in hopes my grapplers would come soon but unfortunately <gasps> the doom cannon targeted ah that's good that's good and now this could be a win they just can't take out that 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 doom cannon all right here we go no no He's taking it out! He took it out. Like I said, he just couldn't take out the Doom Cannon. We would have won. But it appears he did. I might have lost still, too, because those Doom Cannons take forever to fire. And this video is going to be super boring because I've just gone against, like, Grenadier strategies. But that Hot Pot will just decimate the troops. Which I kind of wish it didn't because this guy can just retreat right now and win. Are they stepping up again? Yeah, see, we're going to be sitting through another one. We'll just go to our main base, open the chest after a few attacks, because I'll be done on the warship. I got my two. But let's use out these explosive drones with RZCM. One of the only times you'll see me use Cryoneers, because I do not use them on the warship. In fact, I still haven't unlocked them. And I just, I just don't like them on the warship. But there we go. Let's go gonna be hype when the next season does come out it's gonna change it around again and i don't know do you guys like the resets you guys excited for them all right by the way last video i was like you guys should get 200 comments try and get it y'all were so close i checked it this morning it came out two days ago from today when this video comes out it'll be three we're gonna attack an easy base at first but um you guys got like 187. You were so close. I was like, oh man, that that's unfortunate, but very, very, that that's a lot of comments still. So good for you guys. Um, I was surprised to see so many people partake in it. And um, the people that were like, I'll just try and spam. Y'all came in clutch. Y'all helped it out a lot. So if you guys did almost get us to 200 there. Thank you. Thank you. I'll give you guys the day off today. No special goal. Alright, so now we are going into this base. We're just going to use explosive drones. Let's see what they actually do. I'm throwing them onto that, that boom cannon. Alright. You saw it here, folks. 
They essentially did nothing in my eyes. We're gonna throw them on a back building there. So they stay there shocked for a couple seconds, and then they don't even do enough damage. So we're just gonna keep saving up. Hopefully we can take out that sniper tower. I threw a few over there. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. They start running towards. Okay, so a viable strategy might be them running towards buildings if you throw them near your troops. And this attack wasn't good because this is a level 57. And we lost almost all of our riflemen. I guess we weren't paying attention. We wasted most of our energy on the explosive drones. And how... I shouldn't say how they work, but like... Just trying to see what a good uh, place to use them is. But we'll learn from this attack. Are you, buddy? You wanna play some Boom Beach? No. I was trying to get his paw on my phone. He didn't want to. So, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if I should get my dog to play Boom Beach in a video. Probably be better than me. Probably better than Christian too. Obviously because I'm better than Christian, right? 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 Not on the warship this season. I'm still gonna blame it. Um, the chess system at the beginning because he got a head start since he was ahead of me last season. And last season did the very unethical thing of using the exploit the chest exploit so all I'm saying not trying to bring this up again Christian but it's war war out there all right these explosive drones I gotta say they're kind of let me down here a little bit disappointing not 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 one of the better temporary abilities. I don't know. Maybe I'm just using them wrong. Maybe I'm not. What? If you guys have been using explosive drones, what's like the best strategy that you noticed? You what's wrong? All right. But we did. We are taking out these bases. So I guess I guess uh, maybe they are good. Maybe maybe that's what uh ties the whole strategy together. A mostly useless gumboat ability we're gonna throw down our troops here I'm gonna be able to shock both shock launchers and I'm gonna say it's essential because we want our riflemen to stay alive and we're gonna waste most of our energy on explosive drones and see what they do there we go there they explode oh no there they go you see that I threw like a ton out and they 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 did like no damage to that front line as I expected. But we'll get another shock off onto the right hand or the left hand side shock launcher. And now that we took up the sky shield, we won't have to manipulate the shocks to uh, throw them outside, but they still affect the inside buildings. You guys know what? If you guys know what I mean, but Crying here slowing down those rock launchers, so that's a good thing. Um. Rocket launchers are super expensive on the warship, I gotta say. I didn't upgrade mine uh, to, like, re-get the third rocket launcher until, like, two days ago. So that's kind of... I think... I, I I don't know if they were a good investment or not. It seemed like a lot of the strategies completely neglected the rocket launchers. But, who knows. Alright, so we're gonna go in and try another base here. We got a microwave, but no. Alright, so we're gonna throw down right here. We're gonna throw out some shocks this time. We're not just gonna mindlessly waste our abilities. Uh, well, at least explosive drones. We'll mindlessly waste uh, with a diverse selection of gumboat abilities. We're not just gonna throw down the temporary because it's it'll only be here for the weekend. But we're gonna throw a shock onto the shock launcher. I think I missed that rock launcher, but it's fine. And now, I think, oh no, the microwaver. We gotta throw down a shield. I, I let them run free of my troops. But now, I kinda, hold on. I think what I'm gonna do is throw a bunch on the right hand side here and try and take out some of those buildings. See, the thing that's bad is they easily die and they kinda just sit there. Um, I, what are they doing? Are they charging up? Are they like preparing themselves for battle? By the way, we have like no riflemen remaining. So this is going to get really messy here in a few seconds. Uh, as soon as the rest of our riflemen fleet does die. This is going to be my last attack. Dog's getting a little antsy. I think he wants off my lap. Um, 
but it don't matter. I'm the boss. Uh, anyway. Kind of just finishing it up. To my surprise, we're still going to be able to take out this base. I thought it was downhill. Now, it was kind of a goofy base design. It was just very... It just seemed like... Uh, I don't know. It just seemed like satisfying the look of it more than like strategic if that makes sense but we took it out we got his loot we got his crystals we uh freed the villagers and we will convert hey we get new tribes in two days as well but anyway uh yeah we do have that temporary ability so if you guys do have any interest make sure you guys go uh use that some to to you know to just see who knows but yeah we'll see you guys in tomorrow's boom beach video thank you guys for watching bye bye